Good morning, everyone. A good year, a very good year. I'm sure we're all still inspired and uplifted from our tshuva of yesterday in Yom Kippur. And we're going to continue here in the words of Yeshaya Hanavi. This is chapter 30, verse 15. Ki choyamar Hashem Elohim. Thus says Hashem, Kadosh Yisrael, the Holy One of the Jewish people. Veshuva v'nachas tivasheyun. With shuva in stillness, so to speak. V'nachas in tranquility. A person will be rescued. V'hashkeit v'vidcha tiyeg v'raschem. And your tranquility and your peacefulness and your trust will be your strength. V'loy avisam. And you did not consent. So there is the simple pshat that the Pasuk is saying over here. And that is that when a person puts their amun and their bitachin in HaKadosh Baruch Hu, they trust in Hashem that He's the one that will bring their salvation. So then the Radak and others say that means that HaKadosh Baruch Hu will bring you salvation without wars and battles and different things having to go, having to go on around you. You won't have to rely upon other nations. You won't have to rely upon other people. You can rely only upon HaKadosh Baruch Hu. He will fight your battles. He will bring you salvation. He will rescue you. He will help you. He will save you. That's the simple explanation over here. Bitachin garners a certain amount of strength in a person's life. And that strength is Hashem becomes your strength. And He will help you. And He will save you. And He will bring you out from whatever it is that you are in. But i just like to say perhaps on the tail end or on the tales of Yom Kippur where we spent our whole day involved in tshuva, so perhaps maybe that's what the verse is saying. Thus says Hashem, Kadesh Yisrael, the Holy One of Klal Yisrael. Beshuva, when a person does tshuva, v'nachas, and he does things peacefully, because that's really what tshuva is. Tshuva is my neshama, is returning itself to the Rebbein Nishayim. My tshuva means that I'm getting back to a place that I once was. Tshuva means that I'm creating a new world between myself and Hashem, a better world, a bigger world, a world with more commitments, courage, and, and, and decisions to do the ruts and the will of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. So when a person is b'shuva, when a person does tshuva, v'nachas, and he does things in the nachas way, there's never a time really on Yom Kippur where a person shouldn't be menachas, we're not there and we're not there out of fear, we're not there out of anxiety, we're there knowing that when a Jew confesses himself to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, and he finds within inside himself the ability to say, Hashem, I am sorry, I made a mistake, I did things that I should not have done, that's not with frustration, and that's not with hardships, that's done benachas, that's done with, with peacefulness and tranquility, and that's really what we're saying over here, when a person does that, is going to save us. And that's what we're all hoping happened yesterday. We're all mispala, we all david yesterday, we all did tshuva yesterday, we all set our sights yesterday on the following. That if in fact we did tshuva in the right way, and we returned ourselves to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, and we brought our neshamas to places where it wasn't the whole year because of the sins that we were holding in our hands, then what's going to be? The reward, the reward is Tiva Sheyun Hashem is going to save us for the up and coming year. And it's going to be Bahashke Rubabitcha. It'll be with quietness and confidence in the might Tigvaraschem, in the might of HaKadosh Baruch. HaKadosh Baruch will come with all of his strength, with all of his mercy, with all of his abilities. And HaKadosh Baruch will lift us up and it'll bring us to a place that we never imagined we could be before. We'll have such a good year, a year with the salvations of blessings and simchas and joy and happiness and health and family <coughs> and children and nachas of the children and success in our spiritual endeavors and our physical endeavors, our parnasa. Hashem does it all. If we did tshuva with bitachin and HaKadosh Baruch Hu accepts our tshuva, then we have nothing to worry about it was done menachas, it was done peacefully as a servant who relies upon his, his, his master and his son who relies upon his father to take care of all of his needs. So to HaKadosh Baruch Hu took care of all of our needs yesterday. We should be zoiche in Yetz Hashem that we see in the schus of our tshuva this year. We see a year that we never dreamed of, a year that's filled 
with the birchas shemayim, the blessings from heaven, all good things, everything that we're asking for, whatever your heart desires, now Kodesh Baruch fulfill our will in the schos of our sincere and calculated and dedicated tshuva that we did yesterday. It was done with the Muna, it was done with Bitochen, knowing that the only salvation in the world comes directly from Hashem. Have a wonderful day.